Hey Lake Charles, Russ Silver is here, your CBS Eye on the Lake guy. I'm here at Coffee 30. This is a celebrity. It's not often that I get to talk to an Olympic athlete, but that's exactly what, actually this is the second time we've done it. This is Kirby Ortling. You are a pentathlon athlete, and how long have you been doing this? 14 years. 14, so would you start when you were like four? Uh, I was about 13. You've been doing this a long time. You're get, yeah. getting along in the tooth now to, to, yes. to do this. So yeah, the, 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 tell us what the, the pentathlon, obviously five events, and name what those events, are. Five events, it's the 400, 100, yeah. shot put, long jump, high jump. You do the high jump too? Yes. Do you do, do uh, the scissor split or the Fosbury no, flats? the, the <laughs> Fosbury. Yeah, that's, uh, that seems to be the way to yes, go. All right, so yes. the last time we spoke, you had just come back from Dubai where you won yes. silver. And that was in 2019. 2019. Silver athlete. And that just wasn't good enough for you, was it? No, I wanted so to go to, even bigger. We had to get all the COVID out of the way. And you just, at last, let's see, it was, uh, it was just this past um, uh, June, so not that long ago, and you picked up what, what color medal this time? Uh, gold. Yeah, show everybody. If I were you, I would, I would wear this in the shower if I had a gold medal. I would never take it off. I gold try medal. not to wear it too much. I don't want to get dirty and all well, that. Well, sure, yeah. yeah. I would have a spare just to make sure. Hi, I'm a gold medal. Have you seen my gold medal? This is my gold medal. Yeah. So what did you do to train between the silver in Dubai and the gold at Disney World? I just pushed myself a little harder. I mean, I had a trainer. And when I went to Dubai in 2019, I didn't have... I wanted just to do it on my own and train on my own. But this year, I got a lot serious. and had my dad and somebody else named Paul Burvis. He trained me a lot during the summer before I even left. So uh, all the privilege go to him and all that and counting down the days. And it definitely goes down to these people over here at Call for 30 also. Yeah, well, and the thing about a pentathlon or a, a decathlon is it's not just one discipline. If you're just a runner, you can train just running. Yeah. If you're just a swimmer, you can train just swimming. When you're doing five events, you have to be uh, literally cross-training. There's a whole bunch of disciplines. You've got to be a good runner. You have to have good upper body strength for the uh, for the, the shot put. Yes. You've got to have flexibility and, and vertical distance for the high jump. This is this is quite an achievement. Yes, sir. What, what was what was the the part that you that you hated the most? Is it the running all the time? I um, yeah, sometimes, but. Uh, doing it so many times to get used to it, I mean, everybody's pushed me to the limit that I want to go and I want to keep trying to go higher and higher as long as I can and I'm not hanging off my boots yet, but well, got it's, a couple more years. It's the running that impresses me the most. I'm not sure if yeah. you're aware of this, but uh, there's an alternative to running. If you take a car, it's much quicker, Kirby. It is. I've heard that. <laughs> I've heard that. So, are you, are you done? Are you hanging it up? You've got the gold. Are you, are no. You, no! I'm not hanging it you up. You want like another gold? I want to I wanna break some more records and get even more golds if I can. How do they, they score this? Do they take the, is it kind of a, a, an aggregate, an accumulation it's, of all um, the scores for your five events? By, uh, they do it by a division. Mm -hmm. So I was in a division with two other guys. Okay. Um, we had eight guys doing the pentathlon, but they put them up in the divisions. Mm -hmm. So you had a guy with another guy, and then you had me with two other guys, and that's how they scored it. Yeah, but they take the scores from each of your events, yes. and there's a kind of a yes. rating system. And I would, they... um, third out of three, out of, out of four of the five events, I was in third place. And All then right. the last event, I got the gold. So. Kirby, congratulations. Thank you for representing uh, Lake Charles You're Well welcome. and Coffee 30. Um, what about, where's the next event going to be? What year we, um, we, we can we root you on? The, I'm hoping next year, probably, probably in Berlin, Germany. But uh, if that doesn't happen, then um, this could wait for another year, four years in Minnesota. And if it come down that I don't get picked next year, so be it. I enjoy working here, I enjoy the people and stuff like that. So, so. If, if we if we do a little geography here, you've been to the United Arab Emirates, you've been to Dubai. Yes. Disney World. Yes. Uh, Berlin, Germany. Maybe next maybe, year. Maybe, and Minnesota. Yes, maybe in four years. So we'll if see. there's one you're gonna miss, that'd be the one I'd miss. <laughs> <laughs>
Don't go to Minnesota anywhere that's not uh, July or August because it's frozen. I'm not sure if you're aware of this. It is, it is, it is a heard. tundra up there. Yes, Thank you for talking to us. Congratulations. Thank Keep you it up. Again. How old are you again? I'm 28. You may want to think about retirement, I'm saying. Get you some sponsors. I'll let, you, in. I'll let you know. I'll, talk, I'll let you know how that goes. Not okay. everybody can retire at 70 like yeah. Tom Brady. I'm just telling you. I don't know if I could do what he does. I don't know if I could retire and come back again. He's so, not sure uh, he can do what he does. But I could. We'll see. We'll see. CBS Lake Charles.